I'm having another go. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. I suspect mostly ladies. Welcome back. I am technology today. This week actually has not been in my top 10 favourite things, but we're going to have another go. And there we go. That seems to be much better. Welcome to the Great International Online Craft Show and part of our Black Friday week bonanza here at nataliemay.com.au. Today I thought I would do a couple of live Facebooks and get a little painty, have a little bit of fun and... Oh, you know, straight enough. There we go. And um, and and do a little bit of creating. Good morning, Simone. So we've got quite a few things on special this week as part of our Black Friday and uh, some specials that are available for one day only as well, which is pretty fantastic. So... You'll find today on nataliemay.com.au at the checkout, you'll find items such as stamps will be automatically discounted at the checkout, as well as Tim Holtz products are also going to be automatically discounted at the checkout. But up until Sunday afternoon, you will get 15% off of Christmas items, Vicky Bouton items, you will get 16%, odd number, but just go with it, 16% off of the, some of the Natalie May scrapbooking collage paper. Now, that does not include the new ones. This just includes some of our older designs, uh, but designs that you can definitely love and incorporate into your crafting. We have got 30% off of scrap effects, plus we've got some mystery bundles. Now, our mystery bundles are $20 each with a, over $35 of value. Morning, Karen. Morning, Liz. How you going, girls? Morning, Kristen. Simone. Um, yeah, sorry, technology and me this morning. Anyway, we've also got a massive mega clearance section. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, we've got some dies on special as well. So the Natalie May scrapbooking dies, which is what I'm going to be using today in the live Facebook, they are on special too. Right, so let's get creating. Let's get right into it. I have some cardstock here. I have an unnecessary amount of cardstock, but that's okay. But what I thought I might do is I have... Um, I'm going to do a 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout. So something super simple. Now, and I'm going to incorporate some mixed media techniques. And I would like to show you how really easy it is to use some Tim Holtz products like these Distress Oxides, and put them into, you know, create your backgrounds with them on your page. So I thought that, you know, we might get a little bit arty and a little bit messy here. So um, that is the plan. Now, I have pre-cut. This is the Natalie May Scrapbooking Colour Wheel Die. Now this little die here, let me show you what it looks like when it is cut. This is currently 20% off. Look at that guy there. So that's what it looks like when it's cut. And then you can also cut the wedges. You get the little triangle to cut the wedges on the top there as well. I'm going to be using just that today. Uh, so the Natalie May scrapbooking dies, uh, I think there's five or six designs. You can get those at 20% off. So I have pre-cut three of these color wheels here and I'm going to go down the page like that is the plan and I would like to show you how super easy it is but I want to make my background a little bit inky and arty first so using our brand new stencil designed by Vicky Booten the one and only Vicky Booten I am going to have a little bit of a play to start with Maybe that's why I decided to grab a couple of extra bits of cardstock. So this stencil is $9.95 on nataliemay.com and you'll find it on the front page of our website. All right, so this stencil, what I thought I might do is use some inks from Tim Holtz, some Distress Oxides. 
So before I start, I've got a couple of colours here that need a need to be re-inked. They're a bit they're a bit dry, so I thought I'd show you how I re-ink them. Um, I'm just going to wrap them in paper towel because mine have been a bit leaky, and I'm just going to give them all a really really good shake. And I think I've got squeeze lemonade, cracks pistachio. Oh. Kasia, can you see if you can find my pitch raspberry uh, oxide, please? Favourite person? I did get it. Oh, I found it. Stop looking. Calm down. I just had to wait for you to get up. Pitch raspberry and peacock feathers. So you really do need to give your oxides, oxide re-inkers, a really, 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 really good shake before you use them. So, and that's why I um, shook them wrapped in paper towel because they're a bit grotty. All right, so when I re-ink, and having a re-inker is a really handy thing to have. So if you see that there's one available when you order, make sure you throw it in your cart because they do require a good juicy re-inking. So I will do that. And I've given it a really good ink there. And I'm just going to pop the lid back on and let that soak in. Pitch Raspberry, always double check that the name on your reinker is the same as your ink pad. I know it's obvious, but you'll be surprised how many times you do things in a hurry and then put the wrong colour. What's that, Kash? Oh, not you. Sorry, I thought you were chatting too. So I'm just giving that a really juicy re-ink. Peacock feathers, I'm going to do the same thing, give it a shake, make sure you can hear the ball rolling in the bottle. Good morning, Dad, how are you, darling? And you can see it's soaking right in, so that's really, really good. Uh, cracked pistachio, the last one. Because I'm after some nice bold colour today, that's the main reason I'm wanting to re-ink and make that nice and juicy okie dokie so let's have a bit of a think here about a couple of techniques that we can do with our colors before we go ahead and do anything i'm going to use this bit of cardstock and i'm going to test my colors there's no point putting anything down on your page that um, you haven't done a swatch of to make sure that your colors are correct um, the other thing i'm going to be using on this page is one of our new cuttables, two, maybe three of our new cuttables. So these are our new cuttables, these are the retro flowers. Um, I want to be inspired by this colour palette. So the, our cuttables are $4.50 each, and they're on a really fantastic heavyweight cardstock, and they're called cuttables because we want you to cut them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of a swatch of my colours here so that I know, and I want to do a little colour matching to see what I'm working with. Oh, I love that colour. So Cracks Pistachio and Picked Raspberry. I shortlist those. I love those colours. Squeezed Lemonade is nice. Do I want to use it? Not sure. Let's test it with Fossilised Amber. Oh, hello, friend. Looks like I've got a dodgy one here. I think that's going to be a much better colour than squeeze lemonade. So I'm going to take squeeze lemonade out of the equation. It's too bright for what I'm wanting to do. Abandoned coral is beautiful. Really nice colour. But it's. I'm thinking it, it needs to be a little bit brighter. Let's try crackling campfire. Oh, that's looking better. That's heading more towards the colours that I'm thinking. Uh, lumberjack plate. Oi, hello friend. That's nice. And spiced marmalade. Right, so I've got some colours here that are very similar. How do I pick which one I want to use? That's pretty great. That's the shortlist spiced marmalade. This colour's nice. I think this is a little bold. The red doesn't really fit in anywhere. And I don't think... Abandoned Coral fits in anywhere. So I'm going to go with Crackling Campfire. So this is how I choose what colours I want to use. All right, let's think about the techniques that we can do here. Um, I have got a blending tool 
here and I can do a, a blending tool background. But something else that I can do that I think might look really, really great is I can stamp with my stencil. So I'm going to do this. Let's try this technique. And I can test it on here first before I put it on my final layout. So I'm swiping my stencil with my ink pad. So that was just peacock feathers. What would happen if I just put that straight down? Not a whole lot. But if I wet that with some fancy Adelaide water, and I've just given it three pumps, voila, now we're getting something. We're getting a little bit of interest. So what would happen if I then decided to do some more? So let's go down here again. Let's give it a spray. I'm just doing it off camera just to keep it not so soggy. I'm going to turn this over and try this on this side. Great. And now I want to go with, I'm going to get some picked raspberry. Hold it down. And can I do this? Oh, it's squeaky. Very squeaky. All right. Hey, that looks pretty good. I'm heading towards what I want my background to be looking like. I really like that, don't you think? I'll bring it up to camera and show you. Okay, done a little test. It's taken me two seconds to try and work out what I would like to do for my background before I put my ink onto my page. You know what? I haven't wasted a piece of cardstock. I've just built a background for something else. So I'm going to clean off my stencil on both sides. And I'm just using a Ranger craft mat here to clean my and to use as a background for inking as well. Uh, so that is right there. And then I'm just going to dry that off. Okay, let's get a piece of 12 by 12 white cardstock. Hello, Michelle. How are you, friends? How are you feeling after your back surgery, my love? Hope you're feeling good. All right, let's do this. So I'm going to get in here and I'm going to add a couple of colours to my background. So I'm going to start with this Cracked pistachio, and I'm going to pop some of that at the top and some of that at the bottom, wiping it on nicely. And then I'm going to use peacock, peacock feathers through the middle. All right, so there's the color, swipe straight over my stencil. And now I'm going to, oh, my nails look lovely, thank you. Um, I'm going to spray it with water and I'm giving it a generous spray with water. But so I'm gonna make sure that I don't put this bit here onto my page. At the moment, I'm gonna to have to do this in a couple of sections. Put that on there like that. Perfect. I'm going to push it down, push it down, and just let that kind of dry on there. Okay, blending tools. So I have a couple of blending tools here. So I have got picked raspberry with a blending tool, and I have got some spiced marmalade with a blending tool. And I'm just going to work on these two colours to start with, all right? And I'm going to go in here, giving it a really firm, juicy ink. And now I'm going to go and lightly add some colour around my page. And I'm going to go between the two. And I can use pink and orange because I know that it's not going to muddy up too much. Now, this is working really well. 
and I'm not going right to the edges. And go through the middle. Just lightly overlapping a little. And I haven't decided if my layout's going to be vertical or horizontal yet, but that's okay. Right, and I feel like I need to add a little yellow, a little fossilised amber. This line up here that I dislike so I can just add a little oh I messed that up okay big bit there I don't like now apparently okay so let's have a look here let's bring this up to camera and have a look at what we've done two colors from our stencil and then inked over the top hey that works good all right so I'm gonna add some more now but before I do any more I do need to clean off my stencil because it will be a hot mess otherwise of brown. So I'm just spraying it with water. And I could actually just stamp that onto another page, which I've just done, and lift it. And now I'll clean it off with a baby wipe. So today over on nataliemay.com.au, you will find lots and lots of goodies on a special. So stamps are 15% off for today only being Thursday. So you won't get 15% off on Friday off of stamps. Um, you will get Tim Holtz products as well. 15% uh, off. So rinse and repeat. So going in here with this cracked pistachio. And I am going to use that baby wipe that I just threw somewhere here just to take off that sharp edge. Um, so you'll get that discount on uh, automatically at the checkout, which is fantastic. Um, really, really good. So you can add other things to your cart. So we also have a special running with All and Create products as well, that if you spend a certain amount, you receive an exclusive stamp as well. All right, so I've re-inked that again, as you can see. And now I'm going to give it a really good, juicy spray. And I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to press it down. Not move it. And then I'm going to get back in here with my orange, my pink, and my yellow. So I'm going to start with the orange in the middle. So yes, you can get these, these specials. And we do post to New Zealand, guys. So we do a $30 flat rate, rate postage to New Zealand for those <coughs> oh, excuse me, <coughs> Kiwis that are watching. Um, the flat rate to New Zealand, $30 is for... Uh, under, a, under a kilo, um, and then we will have a conversation with you about putting things over a kilo. So you just need to make sure you do check international on your at your cart at the checkout. Uh, that would be fantastic. Um, in Australia, our postage is eleven ninety five flat rate for under one and a half kilos. All right, so. Uh, we don't do free postage because postage costs us money. So, of course, we 
can't afford to pass that on as a small little Aussie business, but we do focus on customer service. So that is super important. All right, so now, pretty happy with that. We're gonna lift it off. Excellent, now I do have a line through the middle. I'm not that worried about that because I'll be able to cover that up. And I'm gonna clean my stencil. And I'm just going to spray it with water and then I'm going to stamp it on a scrap piece. How good does that look? And I'm building a second layout as I go. I'm gonna clean that off. So, oops. I just find it really easy to spray it with water to clean it off. Oxides do clean up beautifully. And then we're just going to do that one more little bit on the side. So for those of you tuning in, yes, Karen, that will be activated this afternoon. Sweetheart, we won't, uh, we won't be bringing in our... We will be bringing in our no judgment postage later today, but that won't be for a few more hours. Um, the So I'm gonna rinse and repeat just to do this little bit down here. I may even find myself cutting this up yet. So straight through the middle with those three colors, giving it a nice spray with water. Now I'm going to pop them onto here. Now I am going to get a little bit of paper towel, just so I don't have too much overlap. And push it down. Fantastic, that's worked. Right, so I'm just going to let that sit there for a jiffy and then finish off. So when I come back at 1.30 today, I will have a chat to you all about our postage deal. All right, so what else is going on while I'm doing this? You may or may not have noticed, we have got some other amazing new things on our website. So for those of you who take up my art journal classes uh, each month, I've just released our prepaid special for 2024. And what that means is that you can pick up our, our art journal classes at a discounted price if you pay for a year in advance. All right, so that option is there for you. All right, so I am liking where this is going. This is a little annoying, but that's okay. I'm going to see if I can remedy that in a moment. I'm going to get a baby wipe, clean off my stencil again. So 15% off of Stamps and Tim Holtz products for today only. We all love some Tim Holtz products and there's quite a a valuable little range in our collection, which is good. I'm just going to now see if I'm gonna try and be a little bit tricky and just put some color through this bit here. I'm gonna see how that works. I'm not very confident, but I'm gonna give it a whirl. So I've inked and sprayed, and I'm gonna try and line it up. What am I lining up here? No. Oh, you know what? I reckon I've inked the wrong spot. So how about dragging or let's start again. And I need to focus on this side of the stencil. Peacock through the middle, Cracks Pistachio is a really underestimated colour. It is stunning. Make sure you have a look and pop some of that to your cart if you don't have any Cracks pistachio. All right, let's mask off a little on each side here because that's great. 
and that's great but I want to line up here oops it moved that worked that worked yeah, that up there there's a little bit going on in the middle there too okay let's just do a quick little transfer down here try and extend that out a little if that works and then I'm going to give it a spray pop some up the top here so we're just building a bit of a background, something a little bit interesting for our project. Alrighty. So. Let's bring it up to camera and have a look and see what we've got. So you can see where I've kind of stamped it up there. Am I gonna, what am I going to do with my colour wheels? They're going to sit on the top of it. Perfect. They're going to look good. Radio, do I want to add any more pink on my page? No. Put the lid on. Orange, which is the dried marigold, uh, dry, sorry, spiced marmalade is the colour that I used. Uh, pop that aside. And I also use some fossilised amber. So I'm popping that aside. I'm not planning on using those at the moment. I'm going to cut myself a photo mat. Scrapbooking is about your photograph. So if you don't have a photo mat in the middle of your part or somewhere on your layout, planning a layout can be a little bit tricky. Scrapbooking, of course, is all about recording memories and being a little creative on the side, but it's about taking a photograph and popping a photograph on your page to build a story. I'm going to pop that aside, grab a, grab a trimmer. So uh, this is my go-to trimmer. This is the Crafter's Companion. Uh, this is the small guillotine. I love my small guillotine. If you feel the need to upgrade your trimmer and you want to start going with something that is not going to, you know, you continually need to replace blades, I highly, highly recommend investing in one of these little guys. The guillotine is fantastic. I was chatting to one of the ladies on the weekend at the Vicky Burton event about trimmers, and she was a she's always been a big Fiskars lover, which is fantastic. Fiskars have been around forever and ever, which is great. But she was saying that she's, you know, with the amount of cutting, she's sick of using the Fiskars trimmer because um, she goes through so many blades. Now, what I I had a bit of a chat to her about this. I love that it's got a scoring, comes with a, um, what's that called? Like a bone folder, but you can, so being this is a six inch one, so it goes to six and a half, six and a half inches. It's also in centimeters, but you can score on it as well. So if you need to score something, it's easy enough to push down and fold, push down and fold. It also comes in a 12 by 12 version, um, I'm not too sure if we have any of those in stock at the moment, uh, but to be honest, I use, I actually use this one more than probably the 12 by 12, um, but they're both available, nataliemay.com.au, and the guillotine stays sharp, so highly recommend, and as you can see, you can do a nice little score with those as well, and make up a nice little foldy something. And that goes back into there. So they are available. You'll find those in the tools section on our website. Right. Now, something else I tend to do a lot when I am using photos 
is I like to uh, mat with a piece of cardboard. Uh, and so I'm just quickly cutting some, this is just off the back of a, a watercolour pad, it's just a old bit of cardboard. And I use this to give height to my elements on my page. So I'm just going to cut up some pieces. Like that. Because, like I said, putting, putting the photos on your page is important. And then I do this tricky little thing where I put two pieces together, um, get some strong double-sided tape. So this is the Ultra New Ultra Sticky Tape. You'll find that uh, on our website under adhesives. And I just wrap it around. Stick a couple of pieces together. Wrap it around. It gives my, uh, it'll give my photographs some, it gives my photographs some lift on the page and helps them stand out and creates a little shadow behind them. Uh, yes, it's a 2024 art journal class up on the website. Yes, you will find that on our front page of the website. All right, glasses back on. So I'm just going to cut that there, cut that there. Peel that. Super sticky. So the photo mats are four by four. So when I choose a couple of photographs to put onto this layout, I know that I just need to trim them down to be a little bit smaller than four by four and they will have a little white border all the way around. But I do need to allocate space on my project for, for my photos. So at this point, I could leave it like that. Uh, I can, but I'm gonna add my, I'm gonna add some stamping and I'm gonna add some color wheel. So my stamping, I'm choosing the, I'm gonna use Claire's Dots. So Claire, of course, is a designer for Funky Fossil. Um, I have got here some black soot, and I'm just going to re-ink this little baby as well because they've all been really well used lately, and I figure that they need to do that, need to be re-inked, so making them nice and juicy. Uh, the... So Claire is one of our guest, guest teachers as well for Natalie May Scrapbooking. So Claire is uh, having a month off of her classes, but Claire will be teaching with us for 2024 and her classes will be available online to order next month. I have not got those on there yet. All right, so let's have a look here. I want to go here, here. Where am I going to go? And here. Busy, 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 and that's okay. So let's add some black dots. So this is Claire's Dots Funky Fossil Stamp, and I'm going to use it organically and not on a block. I'm going to connect it to the edges. And I'm not putting it everywhere, I'm just putting it in a few spots around my page. So, for those of you who are watching, how is life in your part of the world? Are you keeping busy? Are you keeping happy and healthy? I hope you are all preparing yourself for Christmas. We, it is, we've had some beautiful weather here in Radelaide and it has just started to rain today, which is terrible timing because the Adelaide like the supercars of this weekend uh, here in Adelaide. So terrible, terrible timing. All right, so now we're getting a little bit of interest around our page. And I'm stamping in black because most photographs will have black in them in some sort of element. So adding a little bit of black in is certainly going to 
work and grey stamping, which is stamping with a dirty stamp. Okay, that works. And knowing when to stop is important. And I probably should have stopped about three stamps ago. But that's okay. Um, foam dots. Now, I love foam dots. I love these guys. Do these fit? They fit perfectly under this centre spot. So these are the, I think they're like $2.85 or $3.85. The foam dots that we have available, they're the Couture Creations ones. Uh, fantastic price point. I like to layer my foam dots, so I'm going to put that smack bang in the middle there, peel the back off, and then I'm going to repeat. And I'm going to repeat just one more time. So I'm going three dots high. One, two, three. Uh, Vicky Booten products are also 15% off this week with the exception of her brand new collection. Uh, so stocking up on some Vicky would definitely be recommended. All right. I'm going to go there and I'm going to go there. And I'm going to put this one in the middle underneath flat. I'm going to put my photograph here, and I'm going to put my photograph here. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just commit to it. Let's just make it happen, hey? So I have die cut this shape on my die cutting machine. I haven't done anything fancy, just cut it on normal cardstock, uh, and it is using the Natalie May scrapbooking die, which is 20% off this week. I'm gonna slide this guy in under here. And that one's flat. Uh, and now I'm gonna stick on my photo mat. So what I love about this quick and easy little design that I'm doing here, quick and easy, what are we, 40 minutes in? We have, it's, we have the ability to be able to move it around. I may go vertical, I may go horizontal. I haven't decided which way it's gonna go yet. I'll have a little fluff around in a moment. And I can't get my tape off. Jeez, it's sticky. You can use um, foam tape. Oh, I feel the need to do maybe that and that. Oh, yeah, okay. Now I have a plan. Stick. Yeah, Supercar Weekend here is going to be a little uh, slippery, I suspect. The delightful Robbie Williams is coming to town, though. wonder if he'd like, any, uh, he'd like to pop in for a little bit of a shop. I'd let him do that any day of the week. Okay, tick, tick. Happy. Actually, I quite like it like this, this way. It would also work like this. Which way? Okay, so let's have a talk about our cuttables. Our cuttables are fantastic. These are our new cuttables. I have uh, got a few here. Here are some that <laughs> I've prepared earlier. My lovely little, uh, my lovely little fun size staff member has uh, pre-cut some of these for me, and I want to add them to my page. So we've got three different cuttables in our new bright retro flowers collection and this is just a little peek of a couple of them and I'm going to spread them around my page. Before I do that, great minds think alike Karen, um, before I do that I'm going to choose some words because uh, I think I need a title on my page and I need some words to go in here. Uh, how are you doing? Hello friends, happy day, all the things, freaking awesome, all my crafty goodness. Hello friend. I'm going to use hello friend. So I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to cut that off with a pair of scissors. So 
So these are instant titles for your project. They are ready to go. All you need to do is cut a semi straight line, a semi ish sort of line. I'll do that for now. I don't mind if my lines are not straight. I'm all keen for a little bit of organic creativity, as we're calling that today. And I'm going to use, before I stick them on, I've just got a black pen. And because I've got a black border here, I'm going to do a black border on my word. So we design these ourselves. These are something fantastic that we love to do. And we are always after suggestions on what you guys would like to see in cutables. Would you like to see, I don't know, I don't know, what, what would you like to see? Send us an email at hello at nataliemay.com.au and we can add that to our database of things that you would like on your pages. You will also find, and I'll do some layout, or maybe a card with it this afternoon, a, uh, we've got some other sentiments. All right, hello friend. It's a bit Vicky Booten, isn't it? Okay, and that's sweary words. Oh, well you can get the sweary stamp, and we do have some uh, sweary sentiments on the cutables. So just before I do anything else, I'm just, and I've got my black pen in my hand, I'm going to go through and do a very loose black frame around the edge of my page. So the reason I am doing this is because my flowers, my words, and my background already have a black mark, like black line in them. So for consistency, I like an organic line. It doesn't matter if it's not straight because this is for me and I don't mind when things are not straight. In fact, I prefer things that are a little bit more scribbly. So as I'm doing this, something that you may have noticed, we can no longer see that join where I messed up my background a little because we have taken the focus away from it. We are focusing now on this gorgeousness here, right? So we're not actually seeing that. Now I'm gonna use some more of those foam dots, which I've put down in a safe spot on my desk, that I can't find already. Seriously, have I? And I'm going to take my Hello Friend, and I'm gonna stick my title on first, and then I'm gonna stick on some flowers around my page. So these cutables are really very easy to cut out. We have designed them so it's not a complete nightmare and you don't spend all day fussy cutting because most of you know, fussy cutting is not my favorite thing to do. So in order to keep it super simple, we've done that. Wheels, wheels on the bottom. Actually, I thought you were gonna suggest wheels on, your, on a cutable, Karen. All right, so now I'm gonna put that up, that's like double. Hello, friend, lining it up with that one. Okay, so let's pop some flowers on now. So Kasha has cut these out for me. And now you can see how the colors are all working in nicely together. And it's actually quite soft and pastely, but I'm about to change that with some big, happy flowers. I'm going to keep those black and white ones there because I'm going to show you how easy it is to colour those. So let's just add a sticky foam circle behind that. I'm going to pop that smack in the middle. And I don't like the blue one. I'm going to go with pink one, another foam square, another dot there. And then I'm gonna start building around here. I'm not gonna disguise my color wheel, but I am going to get some bits and pieces in underneath it, and I'm gonna create some clusters.
One, two, three. And then I'm going to add in a moment, I'm going to show you how to colour these guys here using the colours in our background. So that will take just a moment to do. Foam dot cluster. So I tend to do things in threes. I find that they work better. <laughs> connecting it to my title. Connecting it in the middle here. Now I'm connecting it to my title. Pop a little blue So I have got, I'm just going to pop that aside, one of our, with our cuttables, we also have these little black and white ones, right? So I think that I want to do them in a little bit of fossilised amber and a bit of orange. So I'm going to use my oxide ink pad straight onto here and I'm going to add a little bit of spiced marmalade alongside it. And one of those other colours that I shortlisted earlier was Crackling Campfire. Just needs a little bit of richness with it. So I've just popped a little bit of that through the middle. And now I'm using a paintbrush, so just a, just a normal paintbrush, to pick up a little bit of colour in here. And you can see I can get a little colour onto these flowers. So you have the ability to colour them to make them work for you. So these are the, now it's not a watercolour paper as well, just be aware, so it's going to add the colour and soak right in if you're not super careful. So I like that. I'm going to do this one, oh here's another one. So if you're colouring some, if you're adding these to your page and you think, oh, I could really, maybe I could have done with a another pink one or another blue one, then you can do that. You have the power. You have the power. All right, so I'm just going to be a bit cheeky here and take it off the side of my ink pad. Nice. No, that's, that's not the way to do it, people. Don't do this at home. Take it off of here. little suckers and you can mix a couple of colors together so this is the pink and the orange oops that's not water that's water spread it around with a wet brush give it a moment to dry and pop a bit of deepness in the middle there So we've done that, so you can do some of the work if you want. Or you could just leave it as a black flower or black and white flower if you want to do that too. Okay. Nearly there, guys. Nearly finished. Radio. So, there we go. Building up, building up. Um, I've got my little flower here. I might go with this little one that I've coloured in. Pop a dot behind it. It is still wet so I'm just having an awareness of that. I'll just get the sticky off the back. And I'm going to go with a Where's my glue? Then I've got some leaves in here which I'm going to add in. I love that Kash has cut those out for me because I totally wouldn't have. And I would have asked her to do that, so that's a bonus. Oh, she's 
Charlie cut two. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. No? Very grateful. Ooh, here's an idea. Take some scissors. Cut that in half, because I want the leaf. And I can stick that under there. Oh, just like I bought one. So there's no rule to say that you cannot cut them up to make them work for you. So I need to add these in somewhere. Bit of glue on the back. Right, nearly done. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Connecting to my photo. That's a little annoying. I'm going to have to fix that. where it's gone. Happy days. Will that fit in there? It will. It will perfectly. So cut them up, stick them on. Splendid. Okay, happy. Last thing I want to do is add a few little splatters to my page. I love that I've got these circles incorporated. I've used our new cutables. I've used the words here as well. I could quite easily cut out some of these little elements and add some hearts around the page. The black lines will work really well. Uh, I do want to finish off with a couple of peacock feather, peacock feather splatters. So to do that, I'm taking some peacock feathers straight onto my mat with a wet paintbrush and making a puddle of ink. And it's a juicy puddle. We're making a juicy puddle of pink. Very easy to do. Now I'm just going to tap, finger tap up here, finger tap down here, and up around here, add some more. I'm putting my hand over the areas that I don't want the color to go. The splattering to go, it doesn't need to go everywhere. So that's one colour. And I'm also thinking it could do with a bit more of this depth of this deep pink. So, oh, I've got that colour, which I'm going to mix with. That colour was Lumberjack Clay, and I'm going to mix that with Picked Raspberry to try and get a colour that's going to be, what would work beautifully is festive berries, but I don't have that handy. So, plan B, we make it work with mixing a couple of colours together to get a darker colour. Oh, 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 nailed it. And then I'm just going to dab some of it off so it doesn't look like I've bled on the page. And we're done. Happy days. So just to recap, this scrapbooking page has been created using the things that we have available on hand at nataliemay.com.au. So we have got a piece of white cardstock in the background. We've used the brand new... Stencil designed exclusively by Vicky Burton called Vicky's Flowers. And we have created a background with it. So here is, oh, I found my dots. Here's where I have stamped. So we've covered, covered it in Distress Oxides, sprayed it and you stamp with it. And then we inked over the top to get a really cool background. This is the Colour Wheel die from Natalie May Scrapbooking, and this is currently 20% off this die, which is fantastic. The Distress Oxides, uh, the stamp in the background here, they are on special as well. This is using the new cutables from Natalie May Scrapbooking and called Retro Flowers and Lined Retro Flowers, uh, and also Oh Snap is where I got the title. 
which is from here. So today on nataliemay.com.au, you will get stamps at 15% off. You will get Tim Holtz products at 15% off. Christmas and Vicky Booten, you'll get that 15% off. So that does exclude kits and it does exclude her brand new collection. Uh, we have a ton of really awesome collage papers available on special scrap effects bundles, mystery bundles for $20. And we have a clearance section that you need to take a moment to have a flick through because they are fabulous. So that's it from me. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm going to be back here at 1.30 Adelaide time and I will create something else. I might have a bit of play with some collage paper this afternoon. I'll see how we go. All right, guys, I look forward to chatting with you soon. Bye.